Alright guys, and we are right back where we were. I have a feeling this might be close to the end. That is why I decided to start a new video. I kind of hope it's close to the end. Oh, that's it. Dude, that's the ending of the first game. That's what I'm assuming anyway. I want to see that. Is it? I mean, it's got to be. I'm all excited. Listen to me. Picked up batteries. Document. Really? I'm going to read a document right now. From Helen Grant? Granat? Okay. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Warnick from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age his advanced age should alleviate any suspicion among contractors and employees among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper and legally speaking the uh, he died years ago. I understand patients number whatever, number whatever and number whatever, have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combed through Warnick's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers, in quotations. I think we can safely assume Warnick was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmer infirmity? To be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Um, let's see here. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Respectfully, Helen Grant, Merkoff Legal Mitigation Department. So it sounds like they want to make another place, I guess. I just want it to be over. Not that it's not... Oh, man. So what do I do? I don't want to go that way. Get the heck out of here, guys. Oh, that's that psycho. That's that dude that died in the elevator. So the main protagonist should not be like too far. That's the guy that cut off your fingers in the actual Outlast game if you guys didn't know. That's so cool. Okay, it just saved, so we're probably coming up on some bad things. Dead body. I wonder. Jeez. Here's where Freakazoid was at one point. The big guy. I really hope we don't bump into him. Ah, oh, another guy. Okay, from Murkoff, blah, blah, blah. Caution level triple... Uh, triple black security protocols including chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate ab adaptive hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all times in transit. Chemical stimulation is highly recommended for all personal personnel within 500 meters of the patient's attempts at communication should be assumed to be uh, hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost 
acuity. They are physically blind but not unseen. Unseeing is what it says. No, security clearances for Project Wall Rider will not apply to information regarding patients, blah, blah, blah. New security clearance will be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. This music's almost like beautiful, then it gets like this somber, creepy undertone. Anything. Yeah, this is totally where that freakazoid was. I'm gonna open these so we can hide if we have to. That's nailed shut. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see what's over here, guys. Okay, can't go that way. I feel like I'm nearing the end. I'd like to. I'd like to do that for you guys. In this video. That's nailed shut. Man, dang on it. I know I probably gotta go down there, but I wanna check this side out. Okay, nothing. Oh, good night. I got a feeling. Let's see what's down here first, guys. Nothing. Let's walk out here where the fire is. Mr. Park. Oh shoot. How the fuck are you still alive? Oh man. Oh. He stabbed me. What's it? No. No one. Crawl, buddy, crawl. Come on, man. Die trying. Dang. Man, this is... I would love to see what else red barrels could do. This is gorgeous. That reminds me a little bit of everybody's going to the rapture. Oh, there's that dude's vehicle. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Check this out, guys. I wonder if this guy makes it. evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. We got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. Once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Oh my gosh, guys.
Honestly, I liked it. I really did. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Um, yeah, it was a lot of the same, you know, but I mean, it's Whistleblower. Uh, it's, it's DLC to Outlast, so, you know, I don't know what some people expected. Um, that's pretty sweet. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, thanks again for the support. Hate it, love it, like, and subscribe to The Game Junkie. Uh, I love you all, and we'll see you next time. I, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next yet, so, I don't know. If I get one of y'all to make a suggestion, that would be cool. Um, I've been thinking about Spec Ops The Line. That's a very old game. I haven't got to play it, though. Um, I don't know. I'd like to do some newer games. Um, I definitely want to do Resident Evil, so I don't know if I'll try to, I'll try to pick that up as soon as it comes out, but, um, yeah, like I said, hate, love, like, and subscribe, uh, again, thanks, love y'all, and peace out.